simple people skills that will get you everything you want. Life is short. The less time we waste on the weather, the better. Dave Kippen. When meeting a new person rather than the usual, what do you do for a living, or, where do you live, consider a few of the following questions. In your professional life, what do you think is the most exciting thing? In your personal life, what is exciting you the most at the moment? If money wasn't an issue, would you be doing something different? In five years from now, what would you ideally like to be doing? Do you have a favorite charity organization? Why do you choose them? Who is a role model to you and why? Who in your life has been significantly influential to you? Listening to people, a large part of understanding people is not to talk, but indeed the exact opposite, to shut up and listen. You have to resist the urge to talk, and you have to continue to bring the conversation back to the other person. You have to learn to genuinely listen and show active consideration and care for what the other person is saying. Defined as active listening, it's the act of trying to understand their position, and not fixate on your own. Listening to people makes them feel valued, respected, inspired, and eager to solve problems. Validation Validation is a powerful way to diffuse anger and frustration. Validation is taking mirroring to another level. The idea is to repeat what the other person is saying, but also to suggest some understanding of how they are feeling. One caveat to be aware of is the danger of not interpreting feelings correctly. Get it wrong and it can have a devastating effect. Validation is not necessarily agreeing, it is understanding where the other person is coming from and genuinely caring. Even if there is a disagreement, validation allows an avenue for a better resolution rather than becoming defensive. Remember that people care more about themselves than they care about you. People want to talk about themselves. Listening and letting people talk is key to winning them over in life, in business, and in all human relationships. D.A.V.E. Kippen Standing out from the crowd There's a simple key to networking that nobody talks about. Standing out from the crowd, you want to be noticed. In a room full of people trying to get noticed, you need a point of difference. Wear an attention-grabbing piece of clothing, something that stands out and is potentially a conversation started. Consider bright clothing or shoes, a statement scarf or tie. Something that people will notice and be encouraging to chat with you about. Influencing people, if you really want to be influential, you want to encourage people to come up with your idea, all on their own. Don't use the phrase, have an idea. Subtly push the other person in the direction of your idea and the results. Don't be explicit. You could try explaining the opposite of what you are after. Identify the issues of this option and hopefully, the other person will find your idea as the solution. If the other person mentions your idea, whether close to or exact, embrace it and encourage them. You can suggest alterations to their idea when it's not quite what you wanted. Improve your teaching ability. If you are a manager, identify a few people that report directly to you. If you aren't a manager, identify a few people that you influence in one way or another. Remember a few of your favorite school teachers. How was their teaching beneficial to you and how did they affect your performance? Reflect on your notes and try to establish a few ways that you can be a better manager, influencer by taking on some of your favorite teachers, qualities. These days, anyone can be a leader, whether the group you're leading is your company, your team, your department, or your family. You can be a leader even if you have no official leadership role, and are simply setting a good example for the people around you. And you can develop many leaders on your team as well, Dave Kippen.